Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a San Francisco Giants uh, logo and how to turn that into a possible keychain. Uh, we're just going to be using Design Sparks to create this. We'll go ahead and open the Design Spark Mechanical. Uh, once it opens up, we're going to go new, new design. We're going to change the design to plan view. And we're going to click on our logo. Looks like it's the wrong file type, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this into paint and then save it out again. We'll go paint. We'll go file, save as. Save as JPEG. Desktop, save. Okay, this should work. All right, we're going to put that in the center. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, blow that up. This has a lot of curve, curved lines in it. Uh, so what we're going to do is grab our uh, line tool, and we'll just start creating some of the lines that are uh, Get our three-point arc. We're going to do most of these lines that way. Three-point arc. Go ahead and take your time. Three point arc. Anywhere there's an arc, we're going to go, we're going to use the three point arc which is really most of this logo. Most of the logo is three point arc, so. Actually, this is also a three point arc from here, one over to here. Now the reason I decided to draw this in Design Spark Mechanical instead of uh, tracing it in Corel Draw is a lot of times um, Corel Draw sometimes the logos come over and they're perfect. You can use them, uh, and sometimes they come over and they have problems just because uh, the conversion process 
creates a lot of uh, unnecessary lines. Um, unless you create a polyline in a CAD package, uh, the, the, the um, files are going to come over with uh, lots of lines. And sometimes Design Sparks Mechanical doesn't know what to do with all those lines. And sometimes it will allow you, sometimes you can add um, fillets and you can add chamfers and sometimes you can't. So that's sometimes a problem. You know, you should always be able to add, um, you should always be able to add chamfers and fillets wherever you, you might need them. Um, so it is a little limiting. Okay, we, we got most of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and pan up. Let's put this F in here. Take your time and eventually you'll be done. Um, it does take a lot longer than just a simple trace, but uh, it's going to come out a lot better. Okay, we'll go ahead and pan up. Create this bottom part. And what you could do is you could put a line in here. Straight down. Uh, select to click off. And then you can right mouse click on it. Set as mirror. Um, that's going to be a little bit easier. It's going to draw whatever we draw here on the left. It's going to draw it on the right. So get our three point arc. Go from there to there. Okay, and then grab our three-point arc again. Go from there to there. Grab our line tool. Finish off over here. Now we're going to pan down. And I just have to draw this piece right here and we're finished. I'll go ahead and throw that in there. Get three point arc. Need to turn off the mirror line, so we'll need to get rid of that mirror line. So I'll go ahead and pan up. Go ahead and get rid of that. Select. Click on the line, hit delete, and come over here and pan down. Get rid of this one too, it added some extra lines in there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish this up. Sometimes it's better to take your time and do the logo correctly than it is to try to do it quick and then have problems um, later on. Okay, we're done. So control minus 
going to click on the graphic, get rid of it. I'm going to get our trim away tool. I'm going to get rid of all this lines that we don't need. Oops. Okay, we'll have to go over here to the create corner because this is obviously. Oops, undo. Uh, that's okay. We'll just put that. We'll put the three point arc line back in. All right, there's our logo. So we're going to control minus. I'm going to go ahead and draw a base to put on this. Make it three and a half. I'll go ahead and select just the logo. And we'll go ahead and spin this. Go to pull. We're going to drag that out. 0.26. Then we're going to grab our base. I'm going to pull that out. 0.5. Go ahead and spin. There's our logo. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the um, top view. I'm going to click here. We're going to pan down. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, go to our draw. We're going to put a little keychain loop on there. So we'll click on that. Rectangle defined from center. All right there. I'm going to go ahead and get a circle. Uh, that's not right. We'll just go ahead and round the corners here. So go ahead and get your corner rounder. All right. Go ahead and trim away tool. I'm going to go ahead and select this, just that. Oh, undo. Make sure you're not on the trim away tool when you do that. Select, move. I'm going to move that up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get our circle. Control plus to zoom in. Pan to pan down. I'm going to go ahead and put a circle right there. Let's go 0.2. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. You want to give it a pull. Oh, actually, I needed to trim this, so let's go back to the drawing. Trim. All right, we'll give it a later. Just go ahead and pull for now. We're going to drag this over 0.5. Let's go ahead and delete that. Click on there. Pull it to. Point five, OK. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and give this a spin, make sure it's good. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this. Point 0.7, 0 0.7. I'll spin that around, pull. 0 0.7. Let's go ahead and spin. 
we're going to grab, get rid of that, delete. We're going to grab the outside line, this line here, and we're going to give it a pull. Point oh three, control minus. We're going to double click until everything's selected. We're going to go ahead and pull, give this a radius. Oh point three. We're going to spin this around. Pull. Click till everything's selected. Give this a pull. Go point three. Let's go to our top view. Now we're gonna only last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a chamfer to all this stuff, so we'll triple click. We'll click till everything is selected. Pull, change from rounded to chamfer. And we're going to put a little chamfer on there. 0.3. This is why it's better to do stuff individually or do it in actually design sparks because uh, it's hit or miss if you um, do it in Corel, export it out as an SVG, bring it into FreeCAD, then save it out as a steep, and then bring it into. Um, design sparks, you're going to have a lot of uh, lines instead of just one line, you're going to have quite a few, so it may or may not do what you want it to do. Let's go to a chamfer. Point 0.3. So now we can actually create a uh, decent look of keychain. We can do whatever we want to do to it. Um, the only other thing I want to do here is I want to collect, select that and I want to actually move it. It's a little bit too high. All right, we'll go there, spin. That looks pretty good. Not too bad. Only other last thing I'd like to do to this is triple click. Not sure I would be able to do that. I was going to put a uh, radius around here, but I guess I can't. Okay. Well, this is going to end the tutorial. Um, hopefully, you found something useful out of this video. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And thanks for watching.